Hey Padres fans, it's time for a brand new episode of Padres POV, our road trip edition. This episode, we catch up with your Friars to talk life on the road. Plus, the Padres equipment team allows us behind the scenes to see what it takes to get the clubhouse ready when the Padres return home. And grab your luggage. The Padres trade places with the Southwest Airlines crew at the San Diego International Airport. We have all that and more right now on this brand new episode of Padres POV. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Padres POV, the road trip edition. I'm Lisa Lane. Now the Padres have spent a ton of time traveling this season, but I'm lucky and I just need to go from my neighborhood right here in Point Loma down to Petco Park. So why don't you come on in and let's go for a ride. All right, let's buckle up because we are heading downtown to meet up with the Padres equipment staff who's going to show us everything that goes into welcoming the Padres home after a long road trip. But first, let's meet up with your favorite friars who decided to check out what life would be like working in the travel industry. Here we go. We are doing a little training places with the Padres. So we welcome them to Southwest Airlines and they're gonna be working your flight today. So treat them well and we'll make sure that we get, we get out here safely. So thank you for joining us today and welcome Padres to Southwest Airlines. A lot of pressure actually. Have a good flight. Thank you. Yeah, it's been neat. I mean, we uh, travel so much and we never get to see the behind the scenes action. So uh, to be able to see that and what they do every day to um, let us fly easily, this is neat to see. Uh, we started with uh, helping people get, get checked in, put their bags on the mat and gave them their tickets and then we went out and uh, I helped uh, direct the plane to, to park and then we helped uh, put the bags on and off the plane and we got to go in the cockpit which was pretty cool and then we just helped people board, uh, board the plane. She'll be alright, Southwest will take care of her. There you go man, yeah absolutely, nice to meet you too. My favorite part was taking the bags off of the plane, uh, these knee pads on and uh, I kind of had some fun with it. I think the cockpit, uh, talking with the pilots, uh, I think that's pretty cool. I mean, there's, there's so many buttons and, uh, you know, they have to do so much to keep our flight safe and, and comfortable. It's, it's neat to see the cockpit. Well, I mean, I've never been, uh, been down on this part of the airport or uh, on the ground and everything. You always watch from the windows and watch all these guys do uh, work their butts off for us. We do a lot of traveling and uh, there's never any hiccups on their part. They get our bags and they get us there safely and uh, they make it look easy and that is definitely not easy. I was in there for like 30 seconds and I'm exhausted. Uh, you know, just to help out a little bit and kind of experience it's been really cool. Uh, it was definitely a lot of work for that. It, it, it's just uh, definitely out of my comfort zone. Something I'm not used to, but uh, it, was all, it was definitely fun to, to try it out and uh, help out a little bit, but um, definitely a little tired after, after only a couple minutes. God-given talent right there. This is your calling. This is it. I'm baseball. This I started finding my rhythm. I was just like... Yeah, this is neat. I mean, uh, San Diego has great fans, and uh, just to give back to the community and see the fans out in public is nice. Let's hope the Padres didn't mix up any luggage tags while working for Southwest. Well, as we continue to travel down to Petco Park to meet up with the team as they return from their road trip, we wanted to share with you a very special Padres tradition, which is the sisterhood of the traveling jersey, and find out some of the amazing places it's been on the road this year. Take a look. My name is Jodes Paranel. I've been blogging for Gas Lamp Ball since 2011. Gas Lamp Ball is a San Diego Padres blog written by fans. It's under the SB Nation banner, so it's part of the SB Nation network. It's their San Diego Padres blog. The traveling jersey is a jersey that we send around to different Padres fans all the time. and. They'll take it on trips with them, and then later afterwards they'll blog about it on our on Gas Lamp Ball, and it's just kind of a way for 
Padres fans from all over to connect and bring the community a lot closer. My name is GK Mandigo and I've been a member of the Gas Lamp Ball community since 2009 and I took the traveling jersey to Cooperstown for Trevor Hoffman's induction this year. I'd been planning on being at Trevor's induction for a long time actually. I've been planning since before he retired. Uh, about a year prior to his induction I sent a message saying hey if uh, anyone uh, wants this thing to go to Cooperstown for Trevor I'm, I'm game and that's what ended up happening. So when I went to Cooperstown um, GK brought it. He contacted me at last year even before it was announced that Trevor Hoffman was going to be inducted. He wanted to bring it with him to Cooperstown so we were able to get it to him and he was able to bring it and wear it during the induction ceremony so that was really cool. The weekend of induction we drove down to Cooperstown and hit the field with all of the other crazy Padres fans and made the rounds. Ran into Uncle Teddy over there and uh, a number of fans that uh, made a little bit of noise that uh, at the induction ceremony. The traveling jersey is the spirit of the fans. Gaslamp Ball is just a community of people that are excited about Padres baseball. And so it networks us as fans. And when we see the jersey go somewhere and read about where it went, I have to say it was, it was pretty cool to know that I'm, I'm taking this to Cooperstown. And then I get to blog about it. A lot of people say that the jersey has some kind of mystical, magical properties. I guess it's just up to the where to believe whatever they want to believe, but a lot of people think it's brought them some luck. Well, the rumor is, is that it's really, that Staten is a member of the Illuminati, and so through that, that me I'm sorry, no. Staten is not a member of the Illuminati, and it doesn't have anything to do with those things. It's just fun to be a Padres fan. Fans from different sports and different clubs kind of find each other, and you hear about Cubs fans and Cardinals fans. It's pretty special to be a Padres fan. And so it's a lot of fun for us to find each other on Gaslamp Ball and through other blogs and to share something like the traveling jersey and travel around the country. What a cool tradition. Well, there's still lots more to come on Padres POV. We go behind the scenes with the Padres equipment team. You can have a long night and then an early morning, but you just kind of get used to it and you just go with the flow. Plus, the players share their favorite ballpark to visit on the road. Coming out of the bullpen now that's uh, under the bleachers and uh, close to home, so that's uh, by far my favorite one. But first, it's time for your Friar Fun Fact. This season, your Padres have been earning their frequent flyer miles. The team has flown across the country and back all season and has totaled 41,969 miles so far. Hey, at least they know how to fly in style. My favorite thing to do on the road is go play golf. So, got several courses throughout all the cities that we play in that I try to find a place to play golf, and uh, you know that kind of passes the time, gives me four hours of freedom from thinking about baseball or anything else, and uh, gets my mind right for when I'm back at the ballpark. Hey everyone, welcome back to Padres POV, the road trip edition. I'm Lisa Lane, and I'm making my way down to Petco Park. Now the Padres spend so much time throughout the season traveling, so we decided to catch up with the players in Seattle and find out what life is like on the road away from Petco Park. Take a look. My favorite road stadium would probably be Atlanta. Uh, Atlanta is obviously close to home. I get to see my family when I go there. and uh, Obviously good to be back in the South. Probably Wrigley, really good atmosphere, always a lot of crowd noise, which is really cool coming out of the bullpen now that's uh, under the bleachers and uh, close to home, so that's uh, by far my favorite one. Probably Cincinnati because it's my hometown. Okay. I like going there because I grew up going to games there. Seattle's a good one, Minnesota's one of the good ones, uh, New York and Boston are fun, a lot of uh, history in those stadiums, so uh, those are a couple of the ones I like. Probably Wrigley Field in Chicago, I think that might be the best atmosphere in baseball when the game's going on. Favorite thing to do to pass the time uh, is probably play Fortnite. You know, a restaurant or something 
good restaurant to eat some food at. I, I love to eat some good food. At the stadium quite a bit. If we have an off day, I like to go golf, so yeah, golf. Either sleep, eat, or just go out and see the sights. I don't, not huge on going out and seeing like everything that the city has to offer, but you know, going out, maybe go to the water, kind of walk around or something, that's pretty cool. One teammate? That's a good question. I'd like to take every single one of these guys, but if I had to pick out one, either probably Kirby or AJLS, the two are close friends of mine and guys I enjoy hanging out with. I'd probably, probably take Will Myers just so I can make fun of him the whole time because he's fun to make fun of. I'd probably say Hedges, maybe, because we could, you know, probably get in a couple fights and uh, entertain each other for a while. I'll go with, uh, with Joey Lucchese on that one. I think there'd be a lot of interesting things that uh, would happen on there. He's a fun guy to be around. I don't know, probably maybe Will or Hedgy or Spangy or Fred, I guess. Probably bring Trey, just so we could, uh, if we do have our PlayStations with us, we can uh, squat up and uh, play a little bit of video games together. I think overall, the players know life on the road is just part of the job. Well, coming up on Padres POV, we bring you the best plays from your Padres this season on the road. The third home run of the night for Will Myers. Homer in the first, Homer in the third, and Homer's here in the seventh inning. This one, opposite field. Plus, we find out how many hours and people it takes to unload the Padres' equipment after a road trip. It takes about two and a half hours once the truck gets here to get it all unpacked and ready to go for the next day. But first, let's test your knowledge with some Padres POV trivia. Where do the Padres go on their first ever international road trip? Is it A, Mexico, B, Montreal, or is it C, London? Find out next on Padres POV. My favorite road ballpark to play in is probably Atlanta. Um, really good clubhouse, really good field, uh, beautiful city, uh, good place to hit into. Welcome back to Padres POV. Before the break, we asked you, where do the Padres go on their first ever international road trip? If you answered B, Montreal, you are correct. The Padres' first international road trip as an organization took them to Montreal on May 30th, 1969. The Padres would go on to sweep the series on their first international road trip in franchise history. San Diego sports fans, if you haven't already, be sure to check out Fox Sports San Diego's original show, Inside San Diego Sports. It airs every Tuesday, and this week, they give you an all-access pass inside St. Augustine High School's football program. Our motivation early in the year was that nobody thought we were going to be very good. Nobody ranked us in the top 10, all this stuff. You guys were so upset about it. If you want to be considered the best team in San Diego, you got to start beating teams like Helix. Of course, if you want to keep up with all of the latest videos, shows, and articles, make sure to check out FoxSportsSanDiego.com. All right, now it's time for the best highlights when your Friars were on the road this season and your special Padres Plays of the Week. Welcome to Padres Baseball. Jump on it. Jump on it. Renfro coming over into foul ground. Oh. Renfro will make the catch. They tumble into the crowd. What a play by Renfro. Back at the wall. Against the wall. Able to make the catch out there in center field and hold on to the baseball. Manuel Margot with the grab in center. It's the third home run of the night for Will Myers. First time in his career he's hit three homers in a game. Down the right field line, Jankowski will dive and make the catch in right field. Francisco Mejia in his first start, first plate appearance, homers to left center field. Francisco Mejia hits a three-run home run, his second home run of the night. you got to be kidding me. Outstanding. Welcome to San Diego. In the air to left field for Renfro. Deep far, and that is very good. Well, there's still a lot more to come on Padres POV. We go behind the scenes at Petco Park and help the Padres unpack from a long road trip. 
we start off when the buses come in, players will all come off, and then hopefully right after that we'll get the luggage truck, which will have all the guys' personal luggage and everything else. Plus, we bring you the Friar Wire and highlight the Padres' most social media-worthy activities on the road. Don't go anywhere. You're watching Padres POV. You know, that's one of the cool things about uh, being able to play in this league is uh, you know you're traveling so much, so uh, different cities have different things to offer, and uh, just kind of going out and seeing what each city has to offer is uh, you know you don't really get many days where you have free days to do stuff, so it's fun to check out different things about different cities. Welcome back to Padres POV, the road trip edition. I'm Lisa Lane, and I am just a few blocks away from Petco Park, where I'm about to meet up with the Padres equipment staff and go behind the scenes. But first, let's check out your POV Friar Wire, highlighting all the best posts from the road this season. First, a few of our Padres decided to take the opportunity to check out the Stamp Store while in New York for the series against the Mets. Looks like Myers left New York with a few new kicks. Also while in the city, Myers posted a rare puppy sighting in New York. Yes, well, you can never go wrong posting puppies on the feed. Speaking of puppies, Matt Strom decided to dine his dog out in the city. Sounds like a perfect date night with the perfect pup. One of the benefits of life on the road is all the amazing food. Fran Mill Reyes took full advantage in Cincinnati and even got to hang out with a friend for lunch before the game against the Reds. Also while in Cincy, a little rain delay didn't keep Don from watching the game. A different game, I mean. Looks like Don still has his Boston roots. And finally, enjoying his off day this week, Kirby Yates hit the links up in Seattle, fitting in a round of golf. I guess traveling does have its perks. Keep on posting, Padres. Well, it looks like there are some perks to life on the road. Well, here we are, guys. We finally made it to Petco Park. So I'm going to pull over, we're going to park, and we're going to go meet up with the Padres equipment team. The players are still in flight, but this team is here and ready to get everything unpacked from the long road trip. So let's go inside and check it out. Okay, so we finally made it inside the clubhouse. We're gonna hang out with the clubbies, one of which is Brett. So Brett, here we are. Right now, most people will be going to bed and you guys are just getting your night started with the Padres returning home. Is this typical for you guys? Yeah, kind of how it works, you know. Once you get uh, these late nights in, you get the body used to it during the season, so. But no, it's not hard. I mean, you kind of just go with the flow. What are some of the things you guys do when the team finally comes home from a road trip? Primarily, we start off when the buses come in, players will all come off, and then hopefully right after that, we'll get the luggage truck, which will have all the guys' personal luggage and everything else. We'll get that unloaded. Then after that, the equipment will come in. We'll just unload it every bag at a time and get it down here. But we'll try to push it down here first, make sure that we have everything that went on the road came back and then just uh, start unloading it, do laundry and everything else, and make sure the guys are all, all taken care of. Tonight, um, once the truck gets here, it'll be about two and a half hours to get everything put away and uh, laundry done. Main thing is laundry. We have guys that do the uniforms, and then we'll unpack the bags and pretty much get everything ready, even though tomorrow is an off day, it'll be ready to go tomorrow as if we were playing. So it takes about two and a half hours once the truck gets here to get it all unpacked and ready to go for the next day. And it seems like you guys have your own little team back here. But that, I mean, you guys all get along and that probably makes this job even more fun. We do, we, uh, we try to make it as fun as possible. We get on each other every once in a while, but for the most part, we'd, uh, we've been working together well for the last couple of years and we know each other's tendencies, we know each other how we work, so it makes it easy. So obviously you're around the team every single day, so what is your relationship like with all of the players? A lot of it just has to do, I mean, primarily we don't play, but we're around these guys as much as their other teammates are. So it's kind of like we're all together on the team, which is nice. And we all get along with each other. You get to know these guys personally, which is nice. You know, you can see somebody on TV, but 
until you actually get to know them personally. They're just regular guys, which makes it really nice and easy. We're all in it together. We're all trying to win, and we all, we're all here for a long time, so 162 games can drag on. So we all get to work together. I, I've enjoyed being around the players. They're a bunch of good guys. It's a long season, so it's like, you know, almost like your family for, you know, six months out of the year, seven months, eight months. So. It's, uh, it's been a good time. When it comes to the Padres, we're seeing a lot of young players coming up. So you have to make sure that their locker rooms are ready too when they come up here to make their debut. Yeah, uh, September's call up time. So when they left 10 days ago, there's probably, I think, uh, five or four new guys here. They all have lockers and are ready to go. And when they walk in, they'll feel like they're at home. Okay, so what would you say is your favorite part of the job? I would say just being around baseball. Uh, my entire life I wanted to play baseball, but uh, obviously it didn't work out for me. But I have an opportunity to come into work every day, get to hang around a game that I love, and get to be in Major League Baseball. And not a lot of people get to say that, so I'm happy with it. So with 28 years of experience doing this, who would you say is a player that you always remember having the cleanest locker? Well, the, the cleanest, as far as non-cluttered, would be probably Trevor. Always had a very non-cluttered locker, so. The guys' lockers, I always tell people, this is like their home away from home. So their locker is like their rooms. So there's a lot of guys that have messy rooms and a lot of guys that make sure their lockers are clean, but there's definitely more messy ones than cleaner than clean ones. ones. Yeah. Great, well thank you so much for your time and for letting us take a sneak peek in here and check out everything you guys do. Thank you. Well, that does it for this episode of Padres POV, the road trip edition. From the Padres Clubhouse, I'm Lisa Lane. Cue that rollout. I think that's my dog and he can hear my voice. <laughs> I've been told I have a face for radio, so I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> I'm all about the team here, you know. All about names, about the team. <laughs> Have a problem. Yeah. This jersey's been to London twice. I haven't been to London twice. I'm gonna wait till. I nailed that.